I've only spent like over six minutes or seven trying to be so serious. <laughs> and it feels so good. <laughs> so Posting, you know, for the past few weeks, and it's something I've really been trying to to meet up with. I remember I chatted with my friend, and I said, "I'm going to put up a video last week, and I have the video, and you know, I'm going to edit it and I'm going to put it out." But I could not because I was trying to get myself a space, move down to school. Everything has been is now virtual due to you know Corona, so I had to move out from the hostel and get a space, put myself together. And you know I've always been honest with you guys, and it's it's somehow that I have not been able to really put a out. So I thought instead of making another excuse today, I don't want it to pass without putting out of what. Yesterday, I got here with my baby season with talking. We're trying to arrange things. I'm still here putting some things together. And the pressure that comes to a And it's actually a crazy time. It's actually a crazy time. It reminds me of last year. I just got in for, for um, no, I've, I've been four months in started my MSc so we I was in my room that day I would not forget because that was the day Mr. Chen was open as some came out it came out on Val's day February 14th so I downloaded a song was it in the midnight I sleep early and I, I'm, I'm the kind of thing that sleeps so early but I woke up like in the midnight and you know I downloaded the song that I was listening and the next morning the only thing I could hear was the scream, you know, surprises from this and from that and all. I wouldn't lie, it got to me. It got to me, so I left the hostel and I left for library. I left for library. I definitely read myself to people. I read myself to people. I was in the library from morning till night. And I came back at night and entered my room. And what? Okay, I entered my room. My bed is just at the door side. And what the, the next thing that happened in me, I am my room with a knock. And I was supposed to receive a surprise from one of my roommates. So <laughs> it was a very funny one though. And as much as I would like to, you know, do like the art girl, this thing doesn't bother me at all. It actually got to me that day. It got to me that day and I felt like the same this year, feeling like how would people continue to see statuses of come and buy this, come and buy cake, flowers, teddy bears and what have you for your loved ones and I don't have any, do I have now? <laughs> or how do people who people who are just going through a breakup, how do they feel at this point in time? But I'm just here to just, you know, try to talk about this to any of my catch up to fans and family. If there is anyone like that, you know, going through this time, I would say you should calm down and not go into a rush of getting some chocolates and um, cupcakes. I can imagine getting my baby some cupcakes and donuts and what have you. And you know, <laughs> I'll end up still eating most of it in the end. But what if in that relationship there is no peace, there's no joy. Like you'll always say, there's no sacrifice, there's no trust, there is no understanding and there's no respect. 
and I think it doesn't worth it. So, I think patience is just a thing. It's just that one thing that could get you to, you know, where you're going. And a friend of mine said, why, where do you guys find all these good people? She let you ask me the question. And I told her from Jesus from Jesus. The world is actually filled with a lot of bad people, a lot of people that respect, people that are cold at heart. We can find the good ones with Jesus, but unfortunately, we, we people don't really, you know, you won't work comes from him, but we don't want to know him, and it doesn't work that way. So, while I'm back to fixing up stuff in my room I thought I should drop this because I don't want to give you an excuse for not dropping a video this week and also because I want to get this out of my mind and speak to someone that might be going through some downtimes, you know because they are not going to have someone you know to share the period with and as much as you know there's a lot of crazy high this period I want you to find your safe place in Jesus and praying and Waiting for the right person. Yeah. I've really spent like over six minutes or seven trying to be so serious. <laughs> and it feels so good. <laughs> so to like catch up next week, don't forget that life is a catch up too. You can't find my resistance. The only way to fight life is to accept it. So speak your truth. And the truth can help anyone have them. This is catch up too. Please, I love you guys.